Let's talk about Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints. This season, they finished 9-8, and eight and they missed the NFL playoffs. And the one thing that hurt this team was the coaching of Pete Carmichael, the coaching decisions of Dennis Allen, and also the inconsistency of this team. One week, Derek Carr would have three passing touchdowns, and the offense would look very good. The next week, he'll just have two passing touchdowns for one interception, and the red zone offense was atrocious. On the back half of the season, they did play better. They have to make some moves this offseason, and they're already doing that right now. They're turning some of the guaranteed money for Derek Carr into a signing bonus, and it helps out the cap. The Saints have done this for the last couple of years. They have one of the best management teams in the NFL, especially in that department. They are they always deal with cap issues during the season, but when it comes to the offseason, for whatever reason, they're under the cap. They're never over the cap space. And it seems like it's like that every single season, they kick the can down the road, they put some money into a signing bonus, and next thing, you're in a better situation. But it's a lot of things that still bother me with this franchise. They should have made the playoffs this season. With the talent that they have. Derek Carr isn't a top 10 quarterback. But Derek Carr is not a horrible quarterback. Derek Carr underneath the right circumstances. Can be a solid quarterback in the NFL. They would have had one more win on the season. If the tight end caught the ball against the Jacksonville Jaguars. When it fell right into his fingertips. In the back of the end zone in that game. So they had a lot of opportunities to go out there. And possibly take over this division. From a roster standpoint, you can make the argument that they have the best roster in this division. They have a better roster than the Atlanta Falcons because you have more of a quarterback that can go out there and be more consistent at times in Derek Carr than Desmond Ritter or Taylor Heineke. The Carolina Panthers are rebuilding and look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If Mike Evans is not with that team next season, that's a huge question mark for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers moving forward. The Saints have to go out there and fix the offensive line. Trevor Penning was a first-round pick in the same draft class with Chris Olave. He has been horrible. He missed a good portion of his rookie season dealing with a foot injury, but he's been horrible. So you have to go out there and draft another tackle as well. Besides Ryan Ramchick, you need more consistency on the offensive line. Cesar Ruiz was not a good guard this season. He allowed five sacks this season, and he wasn't the strongest in the run game either. And that's also another thing that hurt this team as well. Besides the injuries was the inconsistency of the offensive line play, and to just be honest, horrible offensive line play. It's hard to go out there and say that Derek Carr was the main reason why this offense was bad. It wasn't on Derek Carr. At times, it was a play call from Pete Carmichael, who is no longer an offense coordinator with this team. That's Clint Kubiak. But you have to fix this offense line. The problem is they have went out there. They drafted guys like Cesar Ruiz. They've drafted guys like Trevor Penning, and they have been major misses with this team. You have to go out there and put more investment into the trenches with this team so you can run the football with Alvin Kamara. And you can also run the football with Jamal Williams as well. And the thing is, with a guy like Jamal Williams, he was not able to stay healthy this season. He missed a good portion of the season dealing with a rib injury. Just a year before, he led the league in rushing touchdowns. This season, he averaged three yards to carry and had one rushing touchdown. And that touchdown came against the Atlanta Falcons in the last game of the season. So that's a terrible sign for New Orleans Saints. That was supposed to be a big hit in free agency because you had Alvin Kamara out for the first couple of games of the season dealing with a suspension. And Alvin Kamara did not look the same on the field because Pete Carmichael did not know how to use him properly. You look at his numbers with Sean Payton and without Sean Payton, it's night and day. He's still a very good effective running back, but Pete Carmichael did not know how to use him at all. He would just put him in the flat instead of letting him run routes down the field, put him inside the slot, throw screen passes to him, get him involved early. When Alvin Kamara first bust into the scene, it was that thunder and lightning matchup with him and Mark Ingram. And they were trying to go in and get another case with that with him and Jamal Williams. Unfortunately, it did not work out this season. Hopefully next season, if you want to keep Jamal Williams around, that can work out with this team. Because Jamal Williams, it seems like he's a great teammate. People will love him. But the injuries hurt him this season and the inconsistency of the offensive line play as a whole also hurt him as well because he's a power back he's not a guy that's going to go out there and average five to six yards a carry that's not his game when you need three to two yards two to three yards in tough situations he's going to go out there he's going to get that for you and Alvin Kamara could come in and be that change of pace running back and you can give Alvin Kamara the football 20 and 25 times as well and they have done that in the game he had over 10 receptions in the game he also had almost over 15 carries as well so when you look at a guy like Alvin Kamara, he can be a very good running back for you in terms of how you use him. He has the same skill set of Christian McCaffrey. They need to use him like that. As far as Derek Carr, he has to be more consistent. 
for the entirety of his career when he was with the Raiders all people said he never had a true defense the offense was very good but the defense wasn't right this season the defense of the New Orleans Saints was very good in my opinion I understand the back half of the season, they dealt with a lot of injuries. It wasn't the same, but listen to these numbers. They had 18 interceptions as a team. That was tied with the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Giants for first in the NFL. They had 29 total takeaways. That was third in the NFL as well. So they could take the football away from other teams. The problem is they cannot go in and cash in on those opportunities. And this is when I look at Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen is a very good defensive coordinator. He may be maxed out at that position. It's okay to admit that some coaches that you look at, they're only supposed to be a position coach, like a linebacking coach or a running backs coach. You look at a guy like Dennis Allen. He wasn't successful with the Raiders at the time. He hasn't been successful with the Saints. If you give Sean Payton this roster, they would have made the playoffs last season and possibly would have went out there and made a deep playoff run as well because Sean Payton can make those in-game adjustments. Dennis Allen can't do that. He can only do that with the defensive side of the ball because he's so hands off with the offensive side of things. And the reason why I've been so hard on Dennis, Dennis Allen in the past, Derek Carr is your guy. Pete Carmichael was your guy. All those guys that you had in and coaching with this staff and your quarterback, you should have made the playoffs this season. But instead, they didn't. And I understand it wasn't all on him. Injuries played a toll in that. Suspensions played a toll in that as well. I fully understand that. But you cannot go out here certain weeks and not score in the red zone. When you have three red zone trips and you only walk away with nine points, that's ridiculous. Go for it if you need to. Change the offensive philosophy. I like the fact that you're bringing in Clint Kubiak. I think he's going to try to run the football better with this team and give them more of a pass game standpoint with Derek Carr, especially throwing the ball deep down the field. I hope that's the case because it was too many times this season where they did not throw the football deep down the field. It was just around the line of scrimmage. And Chris Olave, he's a true number one wide receiver. I like Chris Olave a lot with this team. I know some people are sour on him because of certain routes he's checked out when he looked at Derek Carr. The chemistry wasn't there, but in the back half of the season, he did look better. 1,123 receiving yards on the season, five receiving touchdowns. He is very good, and this is a great situation for the Saints because you were depending on Michael Thomas for all those years. A couple of years ago, Michael Thomas was one of the best wide receivers in the game. Started to deal with injuries. He's not the same wide receiver anymore. They have to move off of him. And I like what they did in the previous offseason. They went in, they restructured the contract to a one-year deal. He's going to be a free agent. Just let him go. He's not the same player anymore. He's not as explosive anymore. He does have some good moments here and there, but he's not that same Michael Thomas from a couple of years ago. When he was breaking over 1,000 yards, he'll have 13 receiving touchdowns in the season. You now have guys like Chris Olave, guys like Rashid Shaheed, who is very good with this team. I also like Jawan Johnson as well. Jawan Johnson is a very good receiving tight end when he is healthy. He missed a good portion of the season as well, dealing with an ankle injury, averaged 10 yards a catch, four receiving touchdowns, 368 receiving yards. And that's the guy that Derek Carr had a good rapport with coming down the stretch. So if he can stay fully healthy, Rashid Shaheed, and also with Chris Olave, you'd be in a great situation. Rashid Shahid, you'll be in a great situation. I think that the Saints have to go out there, adjust the offensive line pieces, bring in a brand new tackle via the NFL draft or going free agency, and that can fix the offensive woes of this team. Run the football more and put Derek Carr more in that play action role. Like I mentioned before, he's not a top 10 quarterback. He's not a top five quarterback, but he's good enough to possibly get you to the NFL playoffs, especially if the defense is playing like this right here. If they would have went out there and beat the Green Bay Packers, if they would have not lost that game, they would have been in a better situation. If they had that catch against the Jacksonville Jaguars, if the tight end came down with the football, you would have been in a better situation. So it's a lot of bang, bang plays that hurt this team. And that was even with horrible offensive play calling. I look at the defense, like I mentioned before. 13th in total defense, 10th in passing defense, 20th in rushing defense. They need to go out there and work on that rushing defense as well. But the reason why the rushing defense is so bad, teams just started to run the football when they got up on the Saints and they're just trying to chew the clock away from them. That's basically what happened. Look at what happened in the Los Angeles Rams game a couple months ago on a Thursday night football game. They were just running the football with Kyron Williams, throwing the ball to Puka Nakua, and that pretty much just ran him off the field. And I look at a guy like Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan is not a bad defensive player. I do not want you guys to get this from what I'm about to say. Only two sacks this season. The season before, eight and a half sacks. In 2021, 12 and a half sacks. We're seeing a dip in production here with Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan is still a good defensive lineman, can still go out there and stop the run and get things going. But in terms of getting to the quarterback, 
He can go out there and bring pressure. He can't bring down the quarterback anymore. And that's one of those guys I'm looking at right now. Maybe he comes back next season and he'll have a career resurgence. But right now, I'm worried about Cameron Jordan long term with this team. He's an older defensive player, and he's one of those guys I'm looking at right now. And I'm saying, man, how many years does he have left? And they do have another good pass rusher on this team. And Carl Granderson, who had eight and a half sacks on the season. And I think that he'll get better over time as well. And this was a major hit for the New Orleans Saints because you drafted Marcus Davenport. He wasn't able to go out there and reach his full potential. He's no longer with this team. He was with the Minnesota Vikings. So I look at what Carl Granderson is able to do. One forced fumble on the season, one fumble recovery. I think that he could be a very good defense lineman with this team long term as well. You have Demario Davis, who is one of the most slept on linebackers in the NFL, just a playmaker. He can go out there and sack the quarterback. He's going to go out there and be good in pass coverage. He can go out there and stop the run as well. Six and a half sacks on the season, one forced fumble. He fits what Dennis Allen wants in the defensive linebacker with that team. So I'm not worried about it. I like the cornerbacks of this team. Marshawn Lattimore, when he's fully healthy, he's very good. Tyron Matthew is scheduled to be a free agent. Do you want to bring him back? He's a veteran right now. He may be on the wrong side of 30, depending on how you look at it. He's 31 years old. He did have four interceptions last season. I would want to bring this kid back. To be real with you, bring him back. He's a good veteran player. He's a guy that fits the system of Dennis Allen. You also have Marcus May as well. Paulson Adebo gave you good snaps here and there as well. You have good players and you have a strong roster. You also have Brian Brissy with this team as well at the defensive tackle position. He had four and a half sacks. He's a rookie. Hopefully that he can develop long term with this team as well. You have the right players with this team in my opinion. I'm still iffy on Derek Carr. All right, I was a big Derek Carr supporter with the Raiders. This season left a nasty taste in my mouth. I know 25 touchdowns to eight interceptions is not a bad stat line, but I've said this over and over again with Derek Carr. You have to watch him in game. Forget going out there and watching the highlights because Derek Carr is a catfish. This team will go out there and they'll lose by two touchdowns, and you'll say, Derek Carr has three passing touchdowns. What's going on? The Saints defense let him down. It wasn't the Saints defense. He was getting garbage time stats. He was stat padding towards the end of the game. He had a lot of missed throws, and he had a lot of chemistry issues with Chris Olave they had to figure those things out the fact that Chris Olave had over a thousand yards receiving this season was very interesting because a lot of the plays I don't know if it was on Pete Carmichael if it was just on the players but Chris Olave would be in the wrong position and next thing you know Derek Carr throws a football and they just miss each other and both of them just throw their hands up and it seems like that they were not getting on the same page hopefully Clint Kubiak can come in and figure those things out. But the Saints have the players to go out there and possibly run this division. It's going to be tough because things change from year after year. They have a lot of older players with this team in terms of guys like Demario Davis, Tyron Matthew, Cameron Jordan, even Derek Carr. And you still do not have that long-term solution at that quarterback spot. I think Derek Carr can be decent, but he's not going to be your long-term guy for the next four to five years. So the Saints have a lot of things to figure out. But I do trust in the management with this team, especially when it comes to contracts but let me know in the comment section below how do you guys feel about the new orleans saints if they do not make the playoffs this season you have to change something i would have fired dennis allen after this season i would just let everyone go but eventually you're gonna have to go out there and head towards that dreaded rebuilding stage i know that's what the saints do not want to do but if you don't make the playoffs this year in this week division you're gonna have to do something you can't go out there and roll the dice again to give dennis allen one more year Dennis Allen has to go out there and prove that he's the right head coach with this team. And so far, he's just proved that he's just a good defensive coordinator. And that's it. But let me know in the comment section below. Am I being too harsh on the New Orleans Saints? And can they get things figured out this offseason? If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, want each and every last one, guys. Stay safe. Stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.